Uh, thanks, Brett. Yeah, we, we got the lineup maybe 30, 40 minutes ago. Don Mattingly is introducing himself to some players in that lineup. Uh, crazy times, but you know the Marlins are excited. They were locked into a hotel in Philadelphia for over a week, a lot of these guys. I think they added, uh, Ben, they added 10 players from their 60-man roster. They made a couple of trades, including Richard Blyer, and then they signed like five free agents to get them up to the 30 that are here tonight. Yeah, and, and you know, I listened to Derek Jeter yesterday on Zoom call. He said, we still expect to go out and compete. That's the idea, you know. So they're not making any excuses. No. It's tough as heck. And automatically, when you don't even know some of the players that you're bringing up, you're not quite familiar with what they can do. It's a difficult situation all the way around. But it is what it is. I think Major League Baseball thought this might happen, not to this degree for one team, but it has. But the play will, will continue. Well, all these guys are professional baseball players, and several of them, as the skipper talked about, Jonathan VR, uh, Aguilar, who was an all-star, they've got some players in that lineup. They went to Philadelphia and won two out of three from the Phil, so they're not just showing up here to show up, right? They're here to win baseball games, and they're going to battle the Orioles. No doubt. I mean, you got Dickerson, Anderson, th those are two veteran guys, too, and you're right. They got off to a good start. If you look what they did, they went into Philly. They win two out of three right away, so they liked where they were, the way they were swinging the bat, the way they were pitching, and Unfortunately for them, they've had over a week off, but play will resume tonight, and that's all you can ask for. Well, the Orioles in the win streak and the sweep over uh, Tampa Bay. Key with Ben, you got four at home against a team with a lot of upheaval, and you want to win that series, right? If you could get three out of four. No doubt. I mean, Orioles can't be satisfied right starting off. And it's been a really solid start for them at five and three, won some games. Maybe they weren't supposed to win, but you're right. The Marlins coming in. For four, the Orioles, in my opinion, should be should be ready to take three out of four in this series. All right, here's the Marlins. Uh, Jonathan VR, the former Oriole at shortstop, leads off. John Birdie's the second baseman. Jesus Aguilar, former All-Star at first base. Corey Dickerson's in left field. Brian Anderson's the third baseman, and Logan Forsythe is the DH. Seven, eight, and nine hitters. Catcher Francisco Cervelli, and right field it's Lewis Brinson. And in center field, making his major league debut, one of the top prospects for the Marlins. And they will face John Means, be his second start of the year. That first inning against the Yankees was a rough one for him. But the good news is after the bad first inning, or actually he didn't record it, he got what, a third of an out and gave up five runs. After that, he retired six in a row after that. So look for John Means to be back on point like he was last year. It was an all-star caliber season, all-star caliber first half for John Means. He's Austin Hayes in center, Anthony Suntander over in right field. Your double play combination, Andrew Velasquez, Hanser Alberto on the corners. Renato Nunez gets a start again at third base. Chris Davis back at first base and Pedro Severino behind home plate. John Birdie's the hitter starting lineup for the Orioles. Hansar Alberto will lead off. Anthony Santander hits second. Renato Nunez who's hit homers in the last two games is third. The four five six hitters Dwight Smith Jr. Austin Hayes and Chris Davis. Pedro Severino behind the plate hits seventh. D.J. Stewart in left field hits eighth. And Andrew Velasquez is the ninth hitter for the birds tonight. And they'll take their swings off a 24 year old right hander Pablo Lopez. Last year 21 starts five and eight with a five ERA. It's been a couple of months on the I.L. with a strained forearm. But he is back and they say he had an outstanding and probably was the most impressive pitcher in spring training and summer camp. Phil going left to right. Corey Dickerson. Monty Harrison in center field. Lewis Brinson over in right field. Your double play combination. Jonathan VR and John Birdie on the corners. Brian Anderson at third. Aguilar. Aguilar over at first base and the veteran 13th big league season Francisco Cervelli behind the plate.